This week on Check, Please! South Florida, an Italian kitchen where you'll feel right at home in Oakland Park. It's cozy, it's comforting. It's like visiting friends you didn't know you had in Italy. Some smoky goodness in Fort Lauderdale. These had a little bit more pull to them. You okay. had to pull them off the bone, yep. but boy, were they delicious. And a culinary journey for a special occasion in Miami's Little Haiti. I can't really remember whatever I was eating. I just know it was the best thing I ever ate. Wow. <laughs> Cultural, culinary secrets, and global flavors. We have a passion for blending ingredients and seasonings from around the world. Additional funding for Check, Please! South Florida is provided by George and Helen Weaver and the Friends of South Florida PBS. Spicy, I'm in, and, and I, I really enjoyed that. It wasn't my favorite. I ate it all, and I would definitely go back. We did not know we were walking into that. Everything was on point delicious. I'm Michelle Brinstein and welcome to Check, Please! South Florida, the show where regular people from all over South Florida recommend and review their favorite restaurants. So this is how the show works. Every week we have three guests. Each recommends his or her favorite spot and then the other two go to check them out and see what they think. This week, customer service specialist Tamara Bryant Gardner is serving up smoked barbecue with a down-home feel. Any time is a good time for some brisket or ribs, and according to Tamara, this Fort Lauderdale joint will satisfy your hankering for savory comfort food right when you need it. And executive recruiter Carmen Matos is representing a unique food experience that takes you beyond traditional dining. She says this exclusive hidden gem has no limits when it comes to combining unexpected flavors, textures, and cultural cuisines. And you'll never try the same thing twice. But first, writer and drama teacher Rick Carlin is shining the spotlight on a local Italian market where you'll feel right at home. He says from the moment you walk through the door, you're treated like family. They remember your name and are always urging you to eat a little bit more. And if you try out their buffet, Rick warns that you may just be waddling out at the end of your meal. It's in Oakland Park and it's called Cucina Caruso Italian Market and Pizza. Hi, my name is Domenico Caruso, chef owner of uh, Cucina Caruso, born in Italy, grew up in New York, and now I'm in Florida, enjoying life. I've been in this business since I'm probably 11 years old, and I feel very comfortable around food and feeding people and enjoying a good conversation. Everything's made here on premise. We make our own fresh mozzarella, we make our own bread. We do everything from scratch, so it's so fresh food. We have a regular menu. We also do a buffet during the day from Monday to Saturday, and then we do it again on Thursday nights. We put a lot of food out as far as hot food, cold food, salads, vegetables. We do a tortellini bolognese, which is with the mushrooms or the pink sauce, and our pizza is uh, second to none. I think we have one of the top pizzas in the Florida. We are going through a lot of renovation right now. We redid our kitchen, and we're trying to redo our front to make more seating. You know, we're just growing with the neighbor. The neighbor is growing, and we're growing with them. My slogan that I like to use is come for breakfast, stay for lunch, and have dinner. We just uh, create good food and then let the people talk for themselves. You know, when people have a smile on their face, you know, they had a good time. So what is it? Is it a restaurant? Is it a market? Well, I thought it was a deli for years driving past it. And okay. then one day I went in and I realized there were a few tables back in the corner. Mm -hmm. And then I discovered the lunchtime and Thursday night buffet. It's like visiting grandma's house, I think. Where you can never ever eat Right. It. Yeah. Yeah, Carmen? As a person who lives the low carb lifestyle, I was dead. <laughs> we walked in, the, it's like visiting family and mm -hmm. finding a small restaurant in Naples and it's just fabulous. We started with the antipasto mm. and it wasn't your typical antipasto. It had phenomenal olive selection. Their roasted peppers were amazing. And on top of that, we had the fried mozzarella. Mm. And that was, and you could see it's not your normal fried mozzarella. It was mm -hmm. handmade. Uh, had a great sauce, and I'm not a tomato sauce person, and I was actually spooning on the sauce thickly. Oh, that sounds mm -hmm. good. Okay. Tamara, what would you think? We started with the uh, fried calamari. calamari. Yeah. That was so good. Yeah, and it was so tender. It wasn't rubbery. You know, uh -huh. sometimes the calamari can sure, get rubbery. Sure, no, yeah, it can go either way. And my way. husband ate the meatballs uh -huh. with the ricotta. Oh. 
oh, the and the sauce. Oh, yeah. I those do not amazing. like meatloaf or meatballs. Mm -hmm. Those are really good. They're like yeah, I was pillowy. Excited. They're so mm -hmm. light and yeah. fluffy. Mm -hmm. Oh, how delicious. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> oh, making me hungry. Did you have anything for a main course? We ordered the Dom pizza. It was flavorful, and the cheeses were great. It had all kinds of different meats. It had black olives. Mm -hmm. And then I had the Torellini Caruso. Oh, my. It comes with a tomato cream sauce. Uh -huh. It was traditional tortellini, but the flavors of the meat within the tortellini mm -hmm. and the pasta you could taste was so fresh. It was just so Did beautifully done. Did they make the done. pasta there? Some of their pasta is dry, okay. and, but this felt very homemade. Hmm. I actually had the linguine with clam sauce. My favorite. It's one of my favorites, too. It wasn't that night. They were so nice, I have to say. I didn't say anything. I didn't want to complain. Mm -hmm. But I, they were so nice. I do believe if I would have said something, they would have changed it out. Right. Yeah, oh. but the rest of the food was so good. So I just think that was a one-off. They, yeah. were, they yeah. were nice. They're exceptionally They're gracious. Nice. Mm -hmm. From really, the minute you walk really, in, yeah. uh, the owner comes to your table. Um, he's a rather robust gentleman. Uh, and his wife, they both came to our table. They introduced themselves. The servers were very warm mm -hmm. without being intrusive, mm -hmm. helpful. So I love the service. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Rick, what do you have for main courses? Roast pork. Oh, my goodness, the roast Tell pork me about there. The roast pork. It just melts in your mouth. I mean, it's it's like butter on the plate. You mm. you put your fork through it, and it just cuts it up. It's really and quite rich in flavor. Mm -hmm. A good punch of garlic and some black pepper in there. How were the prices? It was a great bargain, and then all the food that we took home. It was yeah under seventy. Was seventy five dollars for two entrees, two desserts, you know, wine, Ooh, what coffee. Do you have for dessert? I love cannoli, so. And they're made to order. They, they pipe oh, they them. are. They fill them, they to, pipe order. them to order. Oh, okay, yeah. Those, it was Were they delicious. delicious. Yeah. Well, you always I know a good that. cannoli if they're mm -hmm. crispy on the outside, mm -hmm. right, and crispy right. on the inside. Mm -hmm. So if you delicious. got that, yeah, I yeah, did. I did, and you had dessert so satisfied. as well. We asked them to just surprise us with two desserts, mm -hmm. and they came back with two and a half. <laughs> the cheesecake was excellent. It was not too dense, had lots of flavor. They had zeppolis. Italian donut. Oh my, mm -hmm. it was crispy and yummy and soft and gooey on the inside. It was the perfect marriage of texture and flavor. And then they had this tri-colored cake that tastes a little bit like anise. Mm -hmm. It was delicious. It's a traditional Italian cake. Yes. Well, Rick, Cucina Caruso is your uh, pick. Sum it up for us, please. They make you feel as if they've been waiting for you to serve you. Mm -hmm. Carmen? It's cozy, it's comforting. It's like visiting friends you didn't know you had in Italy. Lovely. Tamara? It's quaint, the food is good, and the, the staff are welcoming. I'll definitely be going back. Yeah. For homemade Italian food that will leave you more than satisfied, catch a ride to Cucina Caruso Italian Market and Pizza, located at 4165 North Dixie Highway in Oakland Park. Open daily for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Reservations are accepted, and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $25. I know it sounds simple. Everybody loves fried mozzarella, right? But have you ever made it at home, maybe with something a little more fresh and maybe a better quality of mozzarella? Neither have I. So I thought we could do this all together. So why don't we jump in, okay, right away. Um, I got a beautiful, beautiful local buffalo mozzarella here. Um, and I've sliced it into pieces, whatever this is. This is about a half an inch thick. Uh, it's about two inches long. So the first thing you have to do is dust it in all-purpose flour. After that, dip it into an egg wash. And this is Italian breadcrumb. Uh, you can make it, you can buy it. But what we've done is we've added about a third of it is grated, freshly grated Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna go right into the oil. Let's check to make sure the oil is hot, and it is. So I'm cooking in grapeseed oil, which is one of my favorite oils for frying, uh, mainly because it is flavorless. Add another one in there.
pretty good. I'm going to add one more in there just to make sure I have enough to nibble on. There we go. Beautiful. Now, I was going to play with the idea of burrata for this, but I thought again, and I think it's just a little too juicy for this type of maneuvering. All right. And there we have it. I'm going to go ahead and season it with a little bit of salt. And we brought you two different ideas for dipping. One is obviously the classic tomato sauce. But number two is a little bit more with my child in mind, who is a big fan of the ranch dressing. Try these beautiful mozzarella sticks at home. You might have a winner on your hands. If you want to try a fresh take on fried mozzarella, be sure to check out my recipe at checkpleasefl.com. Now, customer service specialist Tamara Bryant Gardner says look no further if you're on the hunt for some fall off the bone barbecue. She says the food here is smoked to perfection and you'll feel like you're at a backyard grill out. So put on your comfy casual clothes and get to know your neighbor at this southern style joint. It's in Fort Lauderdale and it's called Tom Jenkins Barbecue. My name is Harry Harrell. We're at Tom Jenkins Barbecue and I am the co-owner. First of all, the name Tom Jenkins is my partner's uncle. His name is Gary Torrance. And when we were trying to come up with names, we both have these country roots. And so we started thinking about cousin this, uncle dad and this, because Harry and Gary's barbecue just didn't have a ring to it. So uh, Gary has an uncle, his name is Tom Jenkins. So we, we wrote that down and everybody liked it. It's a combination of recipes from both me and Gary's families. My folks are from Alabama and South Carolina, his folks are from Georgia, and we kind of took recipes from different you know, parts of the family and just kind of blended them with our own. And you know, it's all good Southern cooking. As far as our barbecue, it's the wood that makes it good. Everything is smoked for several hours and marinated and you know, and that's all the love that's going into it that really is what makes it good. We're a mom and pop kind of place. Uh, when you come in here, there's no reservation. You kind of get in where you fit in, and so it's really one of those places where kind of everybody comes together. Tom Jenkins is all about loving what you do, and that's why we say it's a taste you'll never forget. Tell me what you think really stands out at Tom Jenkins. Just growing up in Miami, you know, I, we had hundreds of barbecue. It just felt like a southern down-home barbecue, you know, mm -hmm. with all the southern fixings, soul food fixings. Right. Yeah. I so what'd you it. have this time you went? Of course, I have to have the barbecue ribs. You can get them. Pork ribs. The pork ribs, yeah. Okay. So I got the platter with the two sides. I had uh, macaroni and cheese, which was delicious, and Great. the collard greens. Collard greens, they have to taste like my mom's collard greens. Did for they them taste to like be, your mom's they collard greens? Really? They did. Yeah, it was really nice. Rick, you also had the pork ribs, right? I did. I had the pork ribs, uh, the baby back ribs, because they have spare ribs and baby back ribs. Okay. You know, I'm from Chicago, so we have a have thing. a different of, type of barbecue. D different type of barbecue yeah. with the baby back ribs. My favorite restaurant in Chicago, you pick up the, the bones and the meat just stays on the plate and then you eat the meat. Mm -hmm. So uh, these had a little bit more pull to them. You mm -hmm. had to pull them off the bone, yep. but boy, were they delicious. My husband, who is a vegetarian, uh, but he's pescatarian, right? okay. he does eat some fish, had the fried catfish and he fell in love with it. Did he? And I took a taste <laughs> and that was the best catfish I've ever eaten yeah, anywhere because I love catfish. So do I. I yeah, love and it cat. was incredibly moist and flaky inside. Mm -hmm with a really good crisp cornmeal crust on the outside. So what did you have, Carmen? We had the ribs, both the spare ribs and the baby back. Mm -hmm. And they were um, not as meaty as I would have liked, but they were very good. The flavor was mm -hmm. great. Their hush puppies were crunchy, fabulous. We went the fried food route, mm -hmm. and we didn't miss with that. They had onion rings that my significant other loved. They were served with a remoulade sauce that was really delicious. Mm -hmm. The sauce was very good. 
Well, then we went, well, dessert. Oh, dear Lord, I'm going back for the sweet potato pie. The crust was perfect. It was just the right amount of salt to contrast the mm -hmm. sweetness mm -hmm. of the sweet potato filling. <laughs> it was delicious. And then we also ordered the peach cobbler. That. Oh. I, yes. We, that was so we good, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yeah, I ate half and took the rest home for breakfast the next day. Mm. What, the peach cobbler? Peach, peach cobbler for cobbler. breakfast. Good. It's a breakfast of champions. Yeah. I it swear, it's mm -hmm. wonderful. So did yeah. you have sweet tea? I mean, what do you, oh, what do you drink when you Oh, I sweet tea, mm -hmm. and we ordered lemonade as well. When you're eating soul food or barbecue, you mm -hmm. have to have homemade sweet tea and homemade lemonade. It and was, they make their and own And they lemonade. make it, yeah. and it's so sweet. It's not too sweet, but it's just right, yeah. And let's talk about the location. I know it's really easy to find. I mean, it's right, right there, but let's US talk about one. that real quick. Yeah, downtown Fort Lauderdale. It's a very small parking lot, though, but it, there is parking in an adjacent, in back of an adjacent building. Okay. And when we went, we actually got really lucky. We got that one parking space on mm. the side of the building. <laughs> yeah. It I bet easy. it moves quickly, though. Yeah. Well, we had to move yeah. to the back mm -hmm. parking, uh -huh. but the nice thing about that is that's where all the smokers are. So when you walk back, oh. we were, they, were, they were loading up the smokers. Oh. For the next oh, days. Like the no, no, no. The, 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 meat, the meat smokers oh, are back there. That's actually So that's that was kind of cool. Yeah, it was like, an entertainment. Yeah, it was like a Disney ride while you're in line. You get to watch something oh, while you that. get to the main part. Mm -hmm. And so that was kind of fun for us. Well, Tamara, Tom Jenkins was your pick. Sum it up for us, please. If you want delicious, smoky barbecue, and don't forget the sauce, you can drink it out of the bottle. <laughs> Try John, Tom Jenkins, yes. Rick? <laughs> Good Southern barbecue, go early, because otherwise they'll run out of stuff. Carmen? Traditional barbecue, consistent, good quality, come early, and uh, bring your own wine. Get your Southern style barbecue and comfort food at Tom Jenkins Barbecue, located at 1236. South Federal Highway in Fort Lauderdale, open Tuesday through Saturday for lunch and dinner. Reservations are not accepted. The average price for dinner without drinks is about $30. Finally, recruiter, executive recruiter, Carmen Matos recommends that you get ready for a cultural journey that you've never been on before. This reservation only spot is an intimate experience that you share with the chef himself as he creates what he calls sushi rolls to highlight an unexpected combination of cultures and cuisines. It's located in Little Haiti and it's called House of Food Porn. My name is Chef Frank Antonio Blanco. We are in the House of Food Porn located in Little Haiti, Miami. House of Food Porn is something that was born accidentally when I learned to make sushi at the age of 17. And then I was trying to get my mother to taste some of my sushi creations. I got around that whole raw fish environment by taking some of her traditional Cuban food, black beans and rice and pork and all of that good stuff. and creating what I would call a Cuban sushi roll, which uh, when she tried it and loved it, ended up coining it sushi with an H in between the S and the U. When the guests come here, we just basically take them from beginning to an end, and we take care of them in such a way where uh, they feel special. And that's really what it's all about, but it's all centered really around the food, which is taking the world's most popular cooked foods and putting them into some kind of a bite-sized roll that I call sushi. One of the uniqueness about the House of Food Porn is once our guests reserve, they show up and the first thing is that they're greeted with the biggest smile from Nikki, our hostess, my partner, my all of the above. You know, the guests, once they come in, automatically, you know, they feel like they've just entered into their house. You're going out to eat dinner, no doubt, and you are going to a restaurant. No doubt, but once you're in there, it's all about just taking you outside of that, you know, that zone and just putting you into a comfort area that just makes you feel special. And, and then we just let you enjoy flavors that you're not used to. Quite the experience, right, Carmen? Quite the experience. Mm -hmm. So I went online and found it just Googling experiences, food experiences in Miami. I was looking That's for something. That's how you found this? That's how I found it. 
and what I love about it is it's that it's not just eating food. It's a cultural journey and it's an experience. It's an experience. You get to taste the food mm -hmm. and try to figure out what's in it and then he tells you afterward. Um, it's, it's an adventure. So let's just talk about a couple of highlights that you had in your last visit. So in the last visit, we had a prosciutto wrapped uh, roll that had Swiss cheese. It had picanha, which mm. is beef. A cut of beef, yeah. Yes, and inside hummus and on top of that, some fish roll. The colors were spectacular. It was absolutely it was visually beautiful. Yeah, pleasing. Yeah. And the flavors, and you use, oh, and you use your hands. So it's, it's very um, intimate, very sensual. Tamara? I have to say that I literally got emotional. I really I with got the food. emotional with just the whole experience. Oh, <laughs> Firstly, I um, I you're getting emotional right uh, yeah, now. Yeah, <gasps> because they were just so good to me. Wow! You can see Chef Frank's passion. Mm -hmm. And when he's working, he wants to do this for you. Can you remember, like maybe one of the dishes that yes. you had? Mm, there was this lamb roll, and it had anchovy. I hate anchovies, but that was so delicious. Huh. Everything was perfectly, you know, just where it needed to be. And we had uh, the black Haitian rice mm -hmm. oh, so with good. the bluefin tuna. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. It was. It was amazing. Well, and it's yeah. it's theatrical mm -hmm. in the way it's presented and mm -hmm. everything. You actually buy a ticket. Right. You pay in advance mm -hmm. and you buy a ticket. Mm -hmm. And for the four course tasting, you send in your list of food requirements. You know, as far as my husband's a pescatarian, but he won't eat mollusks. So okay. we put that down. And one of the pieces we ate, the second course, I bit into it and I said to my husband, this tastes like meat, don't eat it yet. Mm -hmm. And Frank came out and we asked him about it and it was a smoked co mm -hmm. Corvina? Corvina. Cor Corvina. Corvina. Oh, and it was too. smoked, but it really had the taste and texture mm -hmm. of pork. Carmen, tell me about the pulled pork roll. It was a, a marriage of Creole, Spanish, a little bit of everything. And when you say pulled pork, you'd think it wasn't a roll, but this came perfectly tightly wrapped where mm. you could grab it with mm -hmm. your hands and enjoy it and, and it was fantastic. You had that as well, right? I don't know if I it was did. the same role. I can't really remember whatever I was eating. I just know it was the best thing I ever ate. Wow. <laughs> Does he make sweet rolls as well? He does a couple of desserts. They're not rolls, he, but he, I love guava and he gets fresh guava and he makes a sauce and typically he'll do a flourless uh, chocolate, chocolate cake. cake with really good vanilla ice cream and a guava sauce. I only ate half of it. I was so stuffed. And between them feeding you and then giving you drinks. So let's talk about the drinks. Yeah. So is it a tasting flight that goes with the food? No, it comes with your dinner. They serve a house red wine. I do not like red wine. Mm -hmm. I love this wine. Yeah. But we Maybe. also have friends that bring their own bottles. So and they're, okay they're very accommodating. They no. So they're very accommodating. Uh, so there's a lot of attention to this. How mm -hmm. are the prices compared to what it's you're getting? It's pricey. Uh, mm -hmm. For the two of us, I think ours was $80 a ticket, so mm -hmm. $160. Mm -hmm. But it is an experience. It I mean, is. I actually took the Uber. Uh -huh. And when I got there, I got there 20 minutes early. And they came out and they bought me this nice uh, fruit infused water. Oh, that's oh, nice. And a rose. So that was nice, wow. yeah. Not only did they take care of you when you were there, but you want to tell them what they did when you got home? Yeah, they sent me a text to make sure that I made it home safely. And who does that? <laughs> Nobody does that. Nobody does that. Wow. I don't do that. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Frank and Nikki yeah. do that. They do that. <laughs> they, wow. do. they do that. Yeah. Well, Carmen, House of Food Porn was your pick. Sum it up for us, please. Just a lovely place with a phenomenal chef. Uh, takes you around the world in flavors. And it's always like coming home. Rick? A once in a lifetime experience that you should experience more than once in a lifetime. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Camera? Mind blowing, out of body experience. Be ready for it. Well, for a unique and intimate dining experience, head on over to House of Food Porn located at 197 Northwest 62nd Street in Miami. Open Wednesday through Sunday for dinner 
It's reservation only and walk-ins are not accepted. And the price for a four course tasting with drinks is about $90. Well, we've had a wonderful time. I want to thank my guests, Rick Carlin, Tamara Bryant Gardner, and Carmen Matos. For more about the restaurants and recipes featured in the show, or if you'd like to apply, be a guest reviewer, visit us at checkpleasefl.com. And remember, find us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Join us next time for three new guests recommending three of their favorite restaurants right here on Check Please South Florida. I'm Michelle Bernstein, and I'll see y'all then. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Cultural culinary secrets and global flavors. We have a passion for blending ingredients and seasonings from around the world.